It's a frustrating constant of commercial airline travel. Boarding the plane always seems to take longer than it should. But is it down to the back-to-front boarding system? Is it true that the method favored by most airlines is the least effective? To find out, Captain Savage and co-pilot Heinemann have replicated a commercial boarding scenario with a team of real flight attendants. Nearly 200 volunteers with their carry-on baggage have generously given up their day to queue for science. And their first test is the control, supposedly the slowest of all systems. This test is the one that people are most familiar with. It's called the back-to-front method. Check out this graphic. Using assigned seats, once they've loaded business class, then they load the back third, the middle third, and the front third. All right, we are now ready to board rows 10 through 19. If you are in row 10 through 19, you may now start to board the airplane. Once the plane is almost full, familiar pre-flight patterns emerge. Hello, 2019. There's a backlog of passengers on the gangway. Passengers in aisle seats having to get up to allow access to the middle and window seats. And inevitably, there is plenty of carry-on luggage too large to fit in the overhead compartments. From the time that boarding was announced to the time that the last bin was closed, for back-to-front boarding, it was 24 minutes and 29 seconds. Now that's a fairly common method of boarding and that'll form our baseline for the other tests. Next up is what we call the Wilma technique. It stands for windows, middle, and aisle. Once you've boarded business class, then you load those with window seats, then the middle seats, and then the aisle. Seems pretty logical to me. Okay, we are now going to board people seated at window seats. If your ticket has a letter A or a letter F on it, you may board all rows with letters A or F. I was a little nervous about how that was gonna work out, but it seems like everyone's getting it pretty clearly. Yep, as it turns out, with some clear instructions, it's quite simple. And the result is an even quicker time. What was the time on that one, Jamie? 14 minutes, 55 seconds. Nice! So where do we stand? Well, the myth was that the most common technique that airlines use for boarding a plane, that is from back to front, also happened to be the slowest and least efficient method of putting people onto an airplane. And based on our testing, I have to say it's myth confirmed. Indeed. But you know what's interesting is that the fastest technique we tried was also the least popular. That might be why most airlines don't use it. Well, the good news is that the three most popular techniques we tried are significantly faster than the back-to-front technique. So those are the ones we should be using. Absolutely. You hear that, airlines? 